at last year's Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show, I caught up with Clayton and the team from Spratwell Greenhouses. Every year they attend, they tend to introduce brand new greenhouses and glasshouses, and they had a ripper glasshouse that I just fell in love with. Now, I got home, and even though I've got one, I started looking around the garden. Surely there's a spot I can put a brand new glasshouse in, and I found it. And it means that I can grow all sorts of plants that are generally cold sensitive. It means I can grow crops all year round that once I could only grow for a short period of time. So I rang Clayton, ordered it, and now it's time to build it, which you can easily do yourself, or you get Clay and his team to help. Spratwell Greenhouses are renowned for their quality, and this is a family business that prides itself in its service. This glass house is magnificent, mate. You guys have done a great job. It all starts with the foundation. Now, I've gone for a concrete slab, but you don't have to do that, do you? Certainly. Like, the, the foundation is important, but um, concrete slab's one way. A lot of other people will go, like, a concrete strip footing around the perimeter, yep. put a bit of a nice pebble mix in the middle so it's permeable, allows the water to drain, drain through, through, but it's a personal preference, really. When it comes to glass houses and greenhouses, there are differences. Greenhouses tend to be made of plastic or polycarbonate, even shea cloth covered. Glass has become extremely popular and the regalia is a true glass house. The thing that makes the regalia special, I guess, it's, it's generally only available in glass, four mil toughened glass. Yep. It kind of can create a centrepiece in your garden. So not only is it a, a good space to grow plants in, but it can be a fantastic outdoor room and, and they just look great and the, the aluminium is, is quite a strong, rigid section. This is a bit of an up -spec model, so you get four wall louvers as standard, yep. you get your four roof vents, you also get your cantilever shelving, both a lower and an upper level down one side, so that just allows, you know, a bit of versatility and you've got something that you, you set up and you can start growing with straight away. Whilst greenhouses may look similar in a photo online, they certainly differ in design, strength and quality. And the extra effort made here in selecting better engineered materials means Clay can confidently guarantee his glass houses. And you know you're dealing with a family company based in Australia who can assist at every stage from selecting the right greenhouse for your needs right through to the right advice when you're constructing. I took the easy option. I got you to come and set it all up for me, I know. But people can actually build these themselves if they're relatively handy, right? How Correct. long does it take? Correct. Look, 80% of people will, will do it themselves. And something like that one, look, it's probably going to take two to three people, you know, two to three days. It is so dependent on capability. Yep. Um, if you've got experience and you're handy, then yes, follow the instructions. Call us if you need help and um, you'll get there. Well, mate, I'm pretty stoked with this. I can't wait to fill it up with a whole yeah. bunch of plants that, uh, that just don't normally grow in this environment. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Wow, how magnificent is this regalia glass house from Spratwell Greenhouses? It's absolutely stunning. It means I can grow all sorts of things in here that I just couldn't grow before in my climate. It's really exciting and I can't wait to get planting.